Hey there, what's up guys, and welcome back today for another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now, in today's video, guys, I want to talk a little bit more about the cube, as well as something going on over at the bunker in Wailing Woods. We got all the info for you right here in today's video. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to stay fully on top of everything coming out as far as news related to the cube, any leaks, any news, anything at all, I've got you covered. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we'll start with the cube. Now, as you guys know from yesterday's video or just from seeing it somewhere on the internet or seeing it in game, the cube has temporarily stopped rolling and it has put out a huge like force field type thing, a dome where if you get under that dome, you will have low gravity and you will be able to jump super high and stay in the air for much longer. Not only that, but the cube does appear to be getting stronger and it's starting to get a lot more bright and it's making really strange sounds and if you bounce off of it now it will basically fling you straight out of the dome that's how powerful it is something that came out just a couple minutes after i uploaded my video yesterday was this there's actually a strange icon a strange symbol under the cube's position right now you can see it through replay mode and obviously this is pretty huge according to twitter account fortnite leaks this symbol is engraved on the ground and will remain there even when the cube eventually does continue its path and as far as I could tell from looking in the comments and looking at the replies and stuff like that and just looking over the internet, it appears as though there are two main uh, minds of thought, trains of thought when going through and looking at this icon. I've seen lots of people claim that this is simply an arrow. You can see on the right side there, it appears to have an arrow pointing in a certain direction. I think it's mostly just because of the way the angle of the picture is, but nonetheless, it does kind of make sense if it was pointing in the direction in which it's going. But the more realistic option, I think, is this is simply one of the seven different runes that were leaked. There were runes leaked for the cube. Uh, they're basically just the different icons you can see on it right now. It's very bright, and there are tons of different icons, and I bet it's just going to start leaving behind one of these runes every single time it goes and stops at a particular place. I feel like this is not the only place it's going to stop. I've just got a feeling. The cube has been stationary just outside of Fatal Fields for a little under 24 hours from when I'm recording this video, and there very well could be something that happens, you know, later today, whether that be it moves again, or the force field shrinks or gets bigger, or literally anything else could happen to this cube. It's very unpredictable right now, so if there is something that happens after I upload this video, I will follow up later in the night with another one. Don't worry, I got you guys. I'm here to keep you updated. Like I said in yesterday's video, if you want to keep up to date literally instantly with where the cube is if you're not at home or you're not able to actually go and see, there's a pretty cool website which I'll link below that actually allows you to see where it is in real time with a live action shot. It's updated almost instantaneously along with the cube rolling, so definitely a great source, a great tool for you to use if you just want to simply see where it is. But for a complete breakdown and analysis, of course, keep it here. Next, I want to talk about the bunker in Wailing Woods. Of course, you guys know what this is by now. It has been on the map and talked about in the game for almost three months at this point. It's been pretty crazy how many theories, how many thoughts have gone into this, and how many different people claiming something's going to happen, including myself, you know, and then it just doesn't happen. It's just unfortunate nothing happened so far, but maybe there's a place and a reason this is happening, okay? Maybe there's a specific reason that they're holding off, but it looks like this time may be coming soon for the bunker to finally be utilized by Epic Games. These pictures are courtesy of at Fortnite Leaks on Twitter, but here you can see this is the picture of the bunker from Season 4, and briefly along the edges of the outside, just where it starts to incline up into the hill, you can see there is a clear indent, like a circle forming around the whole bunker with a little bit of an indent there, so that's definitely kind of strange, but it would make sense if there's a huge military bunker and base under there, that's just, just pointing that out. But in Season 5, you can see the same ring has gotten a lot more deep. It's gotten a lot steeper. It looks like this bunker might be sinking into the ground. I don't know. There have, of course, previously been a ton of leaks about a possible military base, a possible tank, a whole bunch of military-themed items coming into the game, and it seems like this bunker would be a perfect fit for that because it's just been sitting there very quietly for a long, long time. So it's definitely been rumored, and now I have some more info that might just blow your mind. 
Right now what you're going to be seeing on screen are the files of the cube event when it was originally data mined. Now what you can see there is you can see there is definitely some kind of a rocket in the files for this cube. And that's nothing new, we've known about this for a while and we have been speculating and talking about what we think this rocket is and how it might possibly get involved. But if you will remember way back when the first military leaks came out for Fortnite, there were also rocket files associated with the bunker so that's a little bit strange it seems like if there's going to be a rocket involved these might just be overlapping files between uh between two different things referencing the same rocket it's unlikely there would be two different rockets like at the same time i don't know like, there could be but it seems like these files overlapping like this at least in my mind is confirming that something is going to be happening to the bunker here very very soon and i would probably guess whenever this whole cube event actually goes down right now the cube is rolling around the map getting to its location but once it actually gets somewhere there is apparently going to be a a whole bunch of lightning that goes down again and that's probably going to be like the main point the climax of the season 5 storyline and I'm very excited to see what Epic Games actually has for us overall as a whole I've said this before but up until recently season 5 has been pretty weak you know usually they would update the game almost every week in season 4 and have something new happening with the storyline and there were a ton of theories and the rocket was just sitting there in the silo for so long but in season 5 there hasn't been all that much going on until this cube spawned and honestly I think it's great for the game People love Fortnite because it's a good game, it's genuinely a good game, but also because there are literally so many different interesting things happening with the storyline. I mean, last season you had that whole rocket thing and the build up was hype and they finally had a huge event at the end of the season that broke all kinds of viewing records. In Season 3, you had the meteor up in the sky just building hype the whole time. People like the game because it's a good game, but also because the lore, the interesting updates and development behind the game, make it worth coming back to over and over again. It's a very, very good strategy by the part of Epic Games. They know so many people are going to be interested in what's going on with this cube because they know lots of people care about the game and literally this cube could do anything to change the map within just a second with how powerful it is. If it rolls through Salty or rolls through Anarchy or Fatal, I, I just said Anarchy like it's in the game. Whoa, flashback, season four. But this cube has proven to be extremely powerful and it only looks to be getting stronger so it's probably safe to assume that there's going to be some kind of serious map change going down with season 5 late in the season. We're probably going to see something absolutely huge and to be completely honest with you I would not be completely shocked, I would be surprised but I wouldn't be completely shocked if they came out with a new map in some way for this upcoming season. It's been a good year now since Battle Royale has been out just about, and this has been the only map we've known. Yes, it's been updated frequently, and there have been new places and new things added constantly to keep the game fresh. I think eventually they're going to have to put out a new map and keep things really fresh, especially with Battle Royale for Black Ops 4 coming out in just a month or two. Let me know what you guys think about the cube, what do you think is going down with Season 5, and let me know if you are hyped for Season 6. There are just about 30 days, maybe a little less than that, until the season is officially over and we get a brand new season. I feel like we were literally just getting hyped for Season 5, and here we are already talking about Season 6, and it's less than a month away, guys. I think Fortnite has some really cool things planned, so definitely keep it tuned in right here on the channel, and I will keep you updated as fast as I possibly can. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did go ahead and drop a like and sub to the channel, and with that said guys, have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you later.